Hey guys, this is Machiba Maxon again, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run Ubuntu in VirtualBox. So, I currently have an older version of Ubuntu because it's been a really long time since I last used it. I have Ubuntu 12, but this works on any version of, of Ubuntu you have. Either the new one, the 14, the 15, or the low ones like 11 and all that. So, as long as it's Ubuntu, even Linux and others you can even run Kali if you really need to so what you're gonna need is the Ubuntu ISO file and as you can see I have this one right here and I downloaded the 32 bit and you really need to know the version you downloaded whether the 32 bit or the 64 because you're gonna have to choose that when we start making its virtual machine so what you're gonna need is going to be the Ubuntu ISO file and the VirtualBox software itself. I'm going to leave both the link of these softwares in the description and you have to know that all of both, all of these softwares are free so make sure you don't pay a damn coin for these ones. So I'm just going to open my VirtualBox. Don't need this anymore. And once my VirtualBox is open uh, you should open yours too because you have to follow along. And <laughs> I'm just gonna create a new virtual machine. I'm gonna call it Ubuntu. And if you're lucky enough, it will just automatically fill these out. But if it doesn't, when you choose a different name, you can choose like Linux here. I just come here and choose Ubuntu, either 32 or 64 bit according to the one you downloaded. Since I have the 32 bit, I'm going to choose 32 bit. Just click continue. And RAM, I don't have that much RAM. I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna just gonna give it two gigs and just click continue. Just click create uh, continue dynamically allocated memory continue Ubuntu. I'm just gonna give it eight gigs. Since it's the recommended one, I'm just gonna click create. And once it's created, uh, I'm just gonna go to settings. So I don't know, I feel like I'm going too fast, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna slow down a bit. Once you go to settings, uh, you can leave these as they are. Add advanced, leave these as they are. Description, leave them at the, as as it is empty. So go to system. You also don't need to change anything here. You can leave it as it is. You can go to processor. I'm just gonna give it two cores. And well, this setting detected. The IAP feature is not currently enabled in the motherboard section of this page. This is needed in order to support more than one virtual processor. It will be done automatically if you confirm this. Okay, let me just go back to settings because they are telling me if I want to use multiple cores, I have to enable this. So I'm just going to enable to enable it so I can use multiple cores. So acceleration, you can enable all of those. Display, I'm just going to crank it up because I have more than 128 MBs of virtual memory. But since it only shows that, I'm just going to crank it up and choose 3D acceleration. And you don't check 2D video acceleration because that only works on Windows and no any other OS. Remote desktops, no video. Okay, now the storage and go to empty. And now you have to choose your your ISO file you should just go to choose a virtual CD and it will load up your finder so here is mine just gonna choose it and it will load it in and I think this is probably so far the longest you have to go all of these uh, settings are not that necessary so I'm just gonna click OK and start my virtual machine so if you hear those noises, I'm sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to click Start. And just wait for it. It's going to bring up Ubuntu. Mm, waiting for it. Should just wait for it. And it might show some errors and stuff, but you should just wait for it. It will boot up Ubuntu just fine. So you don't have to be afraid because it's showing some errors. And it's going to show the Ubuntu text in its basic form. 
that's because it hasn't acknowledged our our video memory yet but that shouldn't be any problem so I'm just gonna pause right here until it passes this screen because it might take some time because I'm recording and at the same time it's running in the virtual machine so I'm just gonna pause through here and once it's done guys it's it will load up this screen so all you have to do is choose install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu so for this video I'm just gonna try it because I always prefer running Ubuntu by trying it non installing it on the virtual machine so I'm just gonna click try Ubuntu and just wait for it it might take some time so you're just gonna wait for it and dang this thing is taking forever Uh, wait for it. So if you like, if you like to install Windows 10 on uh, in VirtualBox on macOS, this doesn't only work on macOS; it works on other operating systems too. So I also created a tutorial about how to install. Windows 10 in VirtualBox on Mac OS X Yosemite. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. And thank you guys for all those views because it's 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 in like it's it's nearly going into twenty thousand views. So thanks you guys a lot. And you should check it out and see how to install Windows 10. And I can as you can see Ubuntu is nearly downloading and it's very slow, typically very fast, but it's very slow because I'm recording and it's running in a virtual machine. So, as you can see, Ubuntu has loaded up, but it's very slow on my computer because my computer is not that powerful and it's recording and running Ubuntu at the same time and running macOS at the same time. So... As you can see guys, Ubuntu is fully running right now, but uh, it's very slow. So, uh, I probably know, I don't, yeah, I probably know that on your computer it will be faster than this because this is terrible. And I've run Ubuntu before in the virtual box and it wasn't this bad. So, I'm just going to guess it's because of the screen recording and... Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment down below. And you can leave suggestions in the comment section below. And go watch my other videos. I have some great videos. Uh, and thank you guys for watching and I'll probably see you guys in the next video.